Hello, and welcome to Junk Botics. show you how to connect up an Arduino in order to do direct signal injection to the RX2 chip that's on the controller board. But before we can do that I need to make a small fix to the board. I noticed that there was a wire coming from the steering actuator that is coming loose off the board and I want to get that corrected before we continue on. So let's do that. Alright so what we're going to do first is we're going to uh, well we're going to uh, let me uh, swing this camera in so you guys can get a good view here. We're going to uh, desolder this uh, this white wire right here. Get my little pointer. I'm going to desolder this white wire. Trim it back. Twist it up. Tin it up, and then resolder it back into place. And that way, uh, that way it'll be all good. And then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to um, throw some hot glue on uh, to some of these. Uh, some of these loose wires, most of them for the steering actuator because they're the thin wire and such. And uh, then, uh, then we'll uh, start uh, doing the actual uh, putting in, putting on the wires to the pads that we need to uh, do the signal injection. So um, I'm going to get started on uh, doing the solder, doing this uh, soldering, resoldering work, and get this get this worked up. I just got to get my get my thing on here and turn on a light and oh wow now we can see okay yeah all right so get some uh, get some uh, tinning tin things here make sure all right yeah okay so yeah I might uh, might actually uh, Swing this back a little bit. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm just gonna have to gonna have to be careful of that wire there. Get some heat onto this thing. Okay, and it just pulled right off. And it really it's got this. I really don't know. All right, so that's good there. Actually, what I might do, I always like doing this, adding some of this uh, leaded solder to this. That way, that way it'll have like a slightly lower melting point, maybe. Make it easier. Get our uh, things here. Yeah, this wire's just uh, all right. There we go. Have to get that little piece of wire out of there. A late point. Okay, now just tin this up. give a lot of wire here for this. Not a lot. Let's see. Fish this wire out from underneath these others. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll give me a little bit more length to work with. Let's 
naked underneath this black one. Make sure you guys can see all this. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna rotate this a little bit. And then, you got this right here. And be really careful around this red wire. This will get this melted and get that in place. Oh, come on. This white wire is actually a ground wire. I don't know why they chose white to represent ground, but there we go. That's on there good. All right. So uh, yeah, that uh, that pretty much does it. I'll uh, let you guys uh, see right here if we can get it in there. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. So we can. There we go. Now, now it's all nice and. So yeah, you know, we just uh, just redid uh, just redid this one here. I. I've accidentally touched them, but the insulation still looks okay there, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Everything else looks okay. Uh, get rid of this uh, little white piece here and this one that's down in here. And uh, then uh, go from there. You know, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, heat up our uh, hot glue gun and uh, glue these things up. So uh, that's next. All right, well, we're going to uh, hot glue this stuff in place. Hot glue these wires in place and uh, get that done. So uh, I'll just go ahead and do that right now. Goop some here, a little bit there. Oh, I forgot about that little piece of white. All right, no big. Get rid of that little piece of stuff. Goop this one here and that there, and just goop it all up. That's all we have to do. Just and uh, yeah, that was that one right there. And uh, gonna need another another stick here. All right. And put some on these power wires here. Some of this, these power wires too. There we go. All right. Well, that should take care of it. So uh, yeah, that should take care of that and. Uh, what we can then do is uh, once this uh, once this all cools down and I can get some of this uh, filament. It's one thing I hate about uh, hot glue is uh, I don't know hot glue webbing. <laughs> um, so uh, once this uh, once this is all ready and everything and uh, cooled down, um, then uh, we'll uh, work on the uh, getting the getting the other wires in place, getting the wires in place for uh, for the signal injection part. So we'll get that done next. All right, so what I'm going to be doing here uh, now that we uh, now that we have these all glued down and everything is I'm going to be making my initial mods uh, to remove certain things off this board so we can do our signal injection. Um, basically, what I'm going to be doing is uh, first I'm going to uh, I'm going to remove this. Uh, I'm going to remove this uh, um, wire here, which is the antenna, because we don't need it. It's completely superfluous. And I'm going to also, at least according to my hand-drawn schematic here, uh, based on what I can see, on the other side, I'm going to um, I'm going to uh, clip off and uh, desolder uh, one leg of uh, R8 uh, resistor eight. Um, which is uh, a 2.2k resistor um, that feeds into pin 3 I'm going to leave the resistor on there at least initially as kind of a kind of a, a current uh, current limiter in case that's needed it may not be needed some uh, the uh, 
the guy who did this uh, initial uh, signal injection sa thing said he didn't need a, uh, he didn't have to, he could just go directly into the pin. But I'm going to leave it in there anyhow. And uh, then, uh, then the other thing that I noticed is on my uh, schematic here is that um, if I clip out C7, which is a, um, which is a, uh, oh, I guess it's a 10,000 picofarad uh, uh, non-polarized cap. If I clip that out, that'll eliminate the uh, rest of the RF circuit going into the chip. And um, that should eliminate any possibility for any kind of RF signals going into the, uh, into the uh, uh, chip itself to prevent any interference. And uh, that's pretty much all the, all the mods I'll have to make. So let's go ahead and do that. So uh, first, put my pencil down here. First I'll uh, go ahead and clip this off right here. It doesn't, uh, doesn't need to be anything special, just just like that so uh, we've got uh, we've got uh, this here this uh, wire you can see it had a little bit of a foil for well I guess connecting to the antenna at one point don't know where it goes trash alright now for the other side um, we're going to clip out C7 now again and I'm gonna have to uh, put my uh, put my glasses on again these uh, these uh, particular uh, capacitors and everything this is all specific to my board. It's not going to match your board at all, um, unless you happen to, I don't know, somehow get another one of these uh, particular uh, particular cars. Um, it's not going to match. So uh, here we have uh, C7, which, yep, this this capacitor right here is uh, C7. I'm going to just clip that out, and just like this. There's one leg, and there's the other. And so, here's the uh, here's the uh, capacitor. I don't know if uh, anybody can see this or not, but uh, let's see if I can. <laughs> yeah, kind of hard to hold, um, but uh, we can uh, bring it over here and uh, see if I can get you a good view of it. Yeah, there you go. All right, so uh, so uh, yeah, let me uh, bring this back down over here and uh, get y'all focused back in. All right, uh, so uh, yeah, um, we uh, just uh, clipped out this capacitor right here, C7, and uh, that eliminates uh, that eliminates the uh, RF uh, section completely from the chip. Now the remainder is uh, to lift up the leg of R8 and that particular leg is going to be it's this resistor right here, this 2.2K one, and um, we're going to just basically clip this, clip this as close as we can to the board there um, and uh, then we'll uh, solder a wire onto that and uh go from there so i got it going get it's got it it's going to be kind of not going to be easy all right get my clippers in there as close as possible oh. yeah it's going to be difficult they did not leave me a lot of room here All right, and there we go. So, we don't really have we don't really have a uh, very long lead there. Whoops, <laughs> we don't have a very long lead there in order to uh, solder to. But uh, we'll give it a shot. See what we can do there. If not, then uh, then we'll just uh, we'll just uh, clip off the other end, and uh, we'll just clip off the other end and uh, not worry about it. I guess. Uh, we'll have to uh, do some other kind of uh, current limiting uh, for the uh, for the uh, Arduino output. So uh, let's uh, let's let's give that a shot, I guess. All right. So uh, we're going to uh, take this uh, we're going to take this wire here, um, which uh, has a uh, Dupont connector on each end, a little pin connector, uh, handy for plugging into a breadboard. 
we're going to turn this into our uh, signal wire. Um, uh, we're going to uh, strip it, tin it, connect it to the end of the uh, connect it to the end of that resistor there, and uh, or at least give it a try anyhow. And uh, then uh, we'll just uh, we'll just go from there. So uh, get get that. Yeah, figures it would do that. All right. Well, I'll have to uh, fish that out later. Um, trim this. Okay. Throw that away. Twist this up. You got it nice and twisted like I like it. And then, uh, then we're going to uh, do our uh, do our tinning here, which always easier said than done when you don't have three hands. But uh, we'll just rest it right there um, and uh, grab our soldering iron and some solder. And uh, get this uh, get this all tinned up. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to uh, clip this off. Want it a little bit more, a little bit better here. So what we're going to do is just uh, just heat it up and all right, that's better. That's much better. All right, now we're going to clip this off real short because we got a short lead on the resistor. Get rid of that a little bit. And then we're going to tin the end of the resistor too, which hopefully won't be too difficult. See if we can get you in a little bit closer here. Okay, so we got this end of the resistor here, and this is, oh, didn't mean to move you. All right, so we're going to very carefully some solder on there. Kind of wipe that off a little bit. All right, that's tinned up. Now we're going to take this wire. We're going to carefully hold it in place and pray. And it's being this is not something that you can really do by hand I don't think yeah this is not going to work I don't think and uh, let's see well oh we need this dang thing darn it we are all right yeah this thing and of course, looks like I melted the case of the darn relay. Just messing everything up on this thing. Yeah, this thing is definitely not wanting to be cooperative. Give it one more shot here. Very difficult to do this. Yeah, it's not wanting to. Yeah, it's not wanting to stick at all. Nope, not at all. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, just clip the other lead, and uh, yeah, we're gonna just work. We're just gonna work it from there. So uh, 
yeah. We'll uh, just uh, clip off this uh, clip off this resistor. Grab it out of there. If I can grab it. All right, here we go. Get rid of it. Go away. All right. Okay, and uh, we'll try. Uh, we'll try uh, retinning this. And uh, try. Uh, I'm just gonna find a spot someplace I can rest this thing and just retin it. All right. Now we're going to. Uh, Going to re we're going to tin this lead here. Come on, let's not. Okay. And we're gonna take this take this lead and uh, ah, there we go. And voila. <laughs> well, voila! That's much better. My wife would kill me. She's gonna kill me. I said voila. But it's a voila. And my French really sucks. Anyhow. Um, so, so yeah, we've got uh, this uh, signal wire in place. Don't have it with the resistor, but hey, you know, can't always get what you want, I guess. Alright, so uh, we'll uh, kind of bring this in. We can show you a little bit better on the overhead. You know, this right here, right there, you can see. If I can, uh, can see, we uh, connected it where the uh, where the uh, resistor used to be, R8, which used to be this where this white box is. And uh, now we've got our uh, wire. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to actually uh, I'm going to hot glue it on this side give it a little bit of strain relief and then uh, we'll get the uh, other uh, the other uh, two wires the power and the ground wire hooked up and uh, go from there so we'll see you in a bit all right so uh, what we're going to do now is uh, well hot glue this uh, particular wire down and uh, then we're going to uh, flip this board over put it back into place onto the RC car um, and then uh, solder on the uh, power and ground wires. So uh, we'll get that going right now. Just uh, just gonna bloop. And there we go. That's all there is to it on that. And we uh, just have to uh, remove these uh, two screws that we left in place earlier. Take that one out. This is always the point when the screws will get lost, you know, they'll fall on the floor or something because, of course, they're not in their place. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to blame it on anyhow. All right, so put this in place right here. All right, we've got this wire. It'll just hang out there for a second. We'll take one of these screws. And there we go. And the other one. Move, move this over. Always getting bumped for some reason. All right, and then and there we go right there. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, we uh, we got that in place. Here's our uh, here's our uh, signal wire. And uh, we just need to put in place uh, 
we need to put in place uh, power and ground. Um, so uh, right here, uh, you can see our uh, we've got our uh, IC uh, pads right here, and um, and uh, this is uh, <clears throat> this is pin one right here. So we need, uh, according to the uh, according to uh, the data sheet, um, we need uh, ground is on pin two. And we can choose anything, you know, anything as a ground. Uh, in fact, uh, the closer we can get to the edge, the better we are. Um, so, uh, yeah, pin two. This here comes around over here. Um, we could choose that. Uh, but, you know, hmm, yeah. So, uh, pin two. Let's see, pin two, yeah, pin two here. Our ground comes in over here. And choose one of these. Or or I should say this is pin two. Man, I get these you can get these confused backwards so easily. Don't don't let that happen to you. You know, actually I'd probably just choose this one right here. Easy said and done. The other one we need uh, we're gonna get the the uh, power wire, which is uh pin thirteen. So uh, we have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 right here. Um, we could probably just take this one here or this one. It doesn't really matter. One, one, one of the three. So, um, yeah. Let's, uh, let's, first, uh, let's first go ahead and uh, get, uh, get our, uh, get our uh, wires. We have, uh, we have just another couple of these. Uh, couple of these uh, DuPont uh, wires here um, with uh, male ends on them and uh, we'll just uh, clip the ends off, strip them, tin them, go from there. So uh, we'll just uh, go ahead and uh, do that. There we go. And uh, trim these off. Twist them up. I'm gonna find a spot so we can uh, we can prop them up and tin these suckers. Uh, you know what? We got a couple of uh, very uh, useful holes right here we can use. I don't know what those are for. That's okay. We're gonna use them. <laughs> so uh, get our solder here. Get our solder. I don't know why I'm having trouble finding and getting this thing on. There we go. Okay. Grab our soldering iron. Get to uh, get to tinning these things. Okay, and we'll just uh, trim them off a little bit. Well, this one needs to be cleaned up a bit. Got a little solder drop on it. Shake that loose. 
like this. All right, yeah, these look uh, these look pretty good, I think. Uh, probably see them there. They don't look too bad. Trim them off a little bit. Now we're going to take the uh, take the black wire and uh, find ourselves a ground. Verify pin two is our ground, and uh, this is uh, pin one, pin two. We'll just uh, go right here. Try not to burn anything else. And of course this uh, this lovely solder, and I'm going to have to uh, get my thing because uh, I can't see anything. These old eyes of mine. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, do -do. Thing. All right, there we go. Man, okay. Let's try this again. on there and then we want uh, for uh, we want for the uh, nope, that's the wrong one we don't care about that one we want for the uh, VDD is pin 13 so uh, we're going to be using a white wire for uh, for uh, pin 13 so we got uh, we got pin 8 here 9 10 11 12 and 13 going over to here so, uh, I'll just uh, heat this thing up. And... And there we go with that. All looks good. Yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, we got that in place. What we're going to do now is we're going to um, hot glue this stuff, hot glue these uh, wires down. Same one over here. Okay. And that basically does it. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to take these uh, off and uh, turn that off. What we're going to do now is, uh, well, we're going to let this uh, let this uh, cool down and everything, and then, uh, well, I'm going to do some coding and uh, write up uh, some test code for this. Uh, I'm going to base it off of uh, um, base it off of some existing code that's already out there on GitHub. I'll uh, I'll uh, be putting all this up on GitHub and all the other information uh, you already have. And uh, then uh, we'll uh, hook it all up to our Arduino and test it out and see what the heck, our heck happens, you know. <laughs> see if it actually works. Alright, so uh, we'll see you in a bit. Alright, I uh, just wanted to uh, also uh, show you something just to... Uh, just to make sure that uh, these uh, that the connections are all good and everything, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Take my take my meter here. Find a good spot for it so you guys can see it on the. Yeah, yeah. Easier said than done, Andrew. Trying to find a good spot for it so you guys can see it. All right, is that? That's well, not too bad, I suppose. Hopefully, it'll stay. All right, I put it on uh, ohms, and uh, what I'm going to do is. Uh, Take uh, take uh, this lead and hook an alligator clip to it. 
I'm going to clip on to the uh, I'm going to clip on first to our uh, pin number three lead, which is remember connected over to the uh, on the other side over there. And I don't know if I can even uh, I don't even know if I can get to it because of course things are kind of gooped up with that glue. But uh, but uh, yeah, um, what we will do is should be able to probe onto pin three so eight seven six five four three and you can see or maybe you can't let me just back it up okay so you can see that uh well we've got like uh you know roughly roughly uh you know we got low we got low ohms there so you know that uh, that basically shows that uh, yeah we've got a connection proper connection there. Um, we can uh, check uh, check the ground, hook this up to the ground, and then uh, basically any point uh, that's uh, that's for ground, um, just choose this one right here. All right, you can see got a connection there, and finally hook up the uh, hook up the um, positive wire or the uh, power the wire that's uh, outputting power more or less and by the way what I was going to use that uh, what I was going to use that for is you know maybe maybe monitoring the voltage of the uh, of the actual car or whatnot you know uh, and you know or current being used you know I just decided to hook it up had it out here so uh, we've got it right here and we know it's uh we know it's pin 13 so 16 15 14 13 and there you go you can see yeah we got a connection right there we can also go over here that, that's that's also connected to pin 13 if we can uh come on that was let's see pin pin 13 there's pin 13 I don't know if I was probing the wrong one. There we go. Or this here. This here. Gotta make sure you always probe the right one, I guess. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, you know, we we can, you know, that basically verifies that the uh, that the wires are hooked up properly, and uh, we can uh, we can go from there. I wrote some code that uh, I want to demo here. Uh, I got my vehicle here, as you can see. I've got uh, I've got a uh, breadboard right here, uh, a couple of uh, 220 ohm resistors um, that are acting as kind of like a voltage divider, essentially uh, dropping it down to uh, from the five volt output of the Arduino to about two and a half volts. Um, that's more just a, you know just a precaution. Um, you can actually run it directly off of it. I have um, seemed all right. Uh, the other thing that I have is I've got things set up where I'm actually going to be running the Arduino off of the battery from the vehicle itself. Uh, I went ahead and I hooked up an extra wire. Um, this uh, white one here um, was originally the uh, wire from the uh, voltage, uh, the VDD or whatnot for uh, the RCX, uh, uh, the or I should say the the uh, RX2 portion of the uh, of the uh, um, the chip, it's got a different voltage, a lower voltage than the nine volts. I brought the nine volts in right here with this red wire, and uh, then hooked up to the ground and everything, and to a little barrel jack here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show first the uh, the uh, um, some uh, two two different pieces of code, and it's out on the GitHub, uh, so you guys can download it and everything. Um, and uh, use it, abuse it, whatever you want to do. So, um, first set of code is just uh, all it does is turn the wheels on, make them go forward. Just 
runs them, runs them, runs them forward, and uh, that's it. Uh, so I've got my got a got an Arduino here, just a regular Uno, and uh, we're gonna plug this in here. Plug it in like that, and then uh, make sure this is all good. I'm gonna set it right here. I'm gonna hook up this line right here to uh, ground over here. Right there, and this line will go to pin 10. Now the code you can uh, change to uh, whatever pin you want, uh, you know, digital pin or whatnot. Very easy. I've got everything commented um, relatively well, and uh, so it should be easy to uh, easy to work with. So that's all we have to do, and now all we have to do is uh, turn it on, and uh, it'll go into a little uh, startup sequence, and uh, then turn the motor on. So there it goes, blinks uh, five times if I remember right, and then uh, stays solid and uh, turns the motor on. And there you go, there it's going forward. Now, of course that's uh, not really fun or anything, but uh, it gives you an idea, it does work. So we'll turn this off and uh, disconnect this one, and I've got a got a different Arduino. It's actually my oldest Arduino. Uh, uh, I'm not going to pronounce it. Duema Nova. I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce that thing, but it's that's how old it is. It's probably about two, from 2009 or so. Um, my first Arduino, actually. Um, so, whoa. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. This hat's getting in the way. There you go. <laughs> Sorry there, guys. Um, so, uh, we'll uh, hook this again up to uh, pin 10. And ground, get the ground on there, and get pin 10. And this one actually runs through a, uh, it's a little bit more complex, a uh, little bit more complex piece of code. Um, runs through uh, using a state machine through various, uh, uh, driving the motors forward, turning the wheels left and right, and running the, running the rear motors backwards. Oh, and I don't have the, uh, I don't have the, uh, uh, main drive shaft going front to back here. Um, so, you know, while this is a four wheel drive vehicle, it's only doing the rear wheels right now. As you can see, um, this is like completely connect disconnected, but uh, normally it would run them. So you can see I'm rotating the shaft there. So, anyhow, um, get this uh, plugged in and uh, let it go through its steps. So, there we go. Turn this on. And it goes through its own little boot sequence. And there it goes, stops, turns left, goes in reverse, turns right, and repeats. Goes forward, left, backwards, right, and just keeps repeating that over and over and over again. So, you know, that's, uh, you know, that's basically the code, you know, it's, uh, you can easily uh, take it and use it for whatever you want. Um, you know, just, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, change it to your heart's desire. I, I think, uh, I think maybe later I'll, uh, probably turn it into a library to make it a little bit easier to work with. Um, but <laughs> really there's not much to it. It, uh, just sends the signals out and I will, uh, put this, uh, you know, the simple schematic on hooking this up the way I have it here, um, on, on, on the GitHub as well. Um, and, uh, you know, you know, that's, uh, you know, that's basically it. So the next part of this project, uh, or this, uh, tutorial is going to be, uh, building a platform over the top of this thing. I'm going to take the cover and put that over the top to keep this, uh, protect the, uh, circuit board just like it was, but I'm going to make some standoffs and bring them up and, uh, I'll show you guys how to do all that so you can do it with your own vehicle. And uh, you know, turn, turn, you know, continue to build your, uh, continue to build your uh, low-cost RC uh, robot platform, and uh, you know, then uh, you know, then who knows where we'll go from there. So, uh, you know, until later, you know, you know, you, you guys, uh, you guys uh, keep experimenting, and you know, show me what you guys got. You know, what 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 you guys are coming up with on this project, and uh, you know, we'll just uh, we'll just keep going at it. So, see you guys later. Okay, well that does it for another interesting uh, tutorial lesson here. 
Um, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, until next time, you know, you guys uh, keep uh, experimenting, keep uh, expanding out your own platform, and uh, we'll see you guys later. And, uh, you know, as always, remember, keep calm and keep junking. We'll see you guys later. Till next time. Bye. <laughs>